Welcome friends and collectors, you have joined me for a brand new Diecast Emporium review. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the updated for 2022 150 scale Diecast Masters Highline Series Cat 336 Hydraulic Excavator NV or Next Generation. The item number is 85586. It comes in a white outer shipping box to protect the model's metal tin, which of course protects the model. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Cut one of the tapes on the end of the boxes, which I have already done. There you will find a nylon bag, which protects the tin from getting scraped up or scratched during shipment to you. Take the bag off. That unveils the high quality metal tin. Here is the back first, which unusually we will look at. CAT336 Hydraulic Excavator Next Generation. Here's some machine dimensions and operational specifications. If that is your jam, feel free to pause the video now and you can read all about it for the rest of us. Here is a new picture of the 336 Next Gen with the modern hex design. And that brings me to the selling point of this specific model. Yes, the CAT336 Hydraulic Excavator NG has been around for a handful of years now. Diecast Masters has re-released it for 2022 with the modern hex design, the new logo for 2022. The functionality is essentially the same. Uh, all the features are identical. The only difference is the new modern hex graphics. On the front of the tin, you can read CAT 1 to 50 scale, your item number once again for reference. You'll need that if you want to place an order for this model. CAT 336 Hydraulic Excavator Next Generation, collectible die-cast scale model replica. Again, if you are new to my channel and new to this type of product, these are adult collectible high-end scale models. Do not buy these as if they were Matchbox or Hot Wheels toys for your children. These are adult collectibles with fragile and breakable pieces that could potentially pose as a choking hazard. All right, top of the tin, before we pop it off, there's another new picture of the excavator loading a CAT 730C articulated dump truck. Let's pop the top, see what goodies await us. And all too eager to get out of the box is an instructional sheet showing you how to take the top of the cab off. That is a plastic piece if you want to insert or remove your operator from the vehicle. Next, we have an updated Diecast Masters CAT catalog. This has all of the up-to-date Diecast Masters CAT models uh, at the start of 2021. You can see that model year on this catalog. Next up, we have a plastic tweezers, which they have provided to assist you in placing the operator figure seen here in the cab if you want to do that. Not real necessary, but a nice little tool provided nonetheless. Moving the top piece of black foam rubber. And a tissue paper. Finally, we can see the excavator nicely cozy inside. Let's grab him. Be careful what you grab onto. As I mentioned during the introduction, there can be some fragile pieces on here. You don't want to mishandle your model. And the last thing you need to do is remove a pair of these. These are track protectors so that the track segments do not become dislodged or broken during shipment. Once you've done that, you are ready to display your model as no assembly is required. With the model out of the box, let's take a look at some of the details and some of the decals and paintwork on this beautiful piece. Right away, you will notice just how high the quality of finish is on this model. There are numerous CAT Modern Hex logos throughout, including a very small but legible 336 number right here on the top portion of the window insert here. CAT logo on the bottom of the seat, CAT here, CAT here, several warning labels all throughout, and a couple different tie-down points on your track frames so you know where to chain this machine down on a low boy for travel. On the back, the large counterweight, another sharp cat graphic, very large, placed in the center, looks quite good, as well as some other decals used. On the right side, we find another 336 logo, located right here, the cat logo, and another warning label right here. It is small, but very legible, and because it's a different shade of yellow, it doesn't necessarily contrast with the caterpillar yellow. Moving on. I mentioned the cat logo, which is in the same spot as it is on the other side. We went over that already. And then here's another warning label on the stick. Your hydraulic lines, they are thin. You can see them flexing right here. They are thin, they will move, and they look particularly good 
in this scale. There are a couple of working lights here and more rubber hydraulic piping throughout. Looking down into the swing motor, you can see more hydraulic piping and even more going up the boom. Looking from the front, we can see the detail on the dipper arm, also known as the stick. And the hydraulic cylinder jackets, those are plastic as well, but the color match is good with that black finish, so it looks really, really good. Taking a look underneath the excavator, you can see the details of the track shoes. Each of the pads are different, and they will move. We'll get into that functionality here in just a minute. Okay, that's the details and decals. Let's go ahead and transfer immediately into the functionality. As I mentioned during the unboxing, you can pop off this top section here if you want to. Pop it off just like that. You can drop your operator figure in from the top if you wish to do that. And then it snaps in as so. All right, we need to get our excavator to the job site. So let's bring in a Diecast Masters low boy setup because before we can do any functionality, we need to get the excavator to the job site. So let's get him folded up and on the low boy. It can be argued one of the best ways to display any excavator model is with a low boy trailer and tractor setup. And as you can see here, they look really, really good together with a heavy haul Western Star setup with an XL120 low boy. So we have our machine on site. It's tucked up nice, looks great. We've got them on the job site. Let's put the machine through its paces and see what it can do. First off, we need to text we need to check the functionality of the tracks. You can move them by hand. And they both move independently of one another. So as you can see, they are not linked together. You can rotate it 360 degrees. It is a little stiff to start out with, but it will free up with a little bit of careful handling. All right. What is What good is any excavator model if it can't dig? So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. We've already demonstrated what it looks like when it's tucked up for a transport mode. You can get a pretty aggressive digging depth. That's not too bad. A little bit of the cylinder is still exposed, at least on my specific model. So it would be nice to see this completely retract into the cylinder jacket so we get a little bit more of a digging depth. But honestly, that's not too bad at all. On the other, on the other end of things, easy for me to say... You can get it up to here. Not bad at all. We can bring in our stick to here. And we can curl our bucket in to here. On the lower end of things, once again, here is your compact or transport mode. If you want to go for a parked mode on a job site, you can do that as well. And just have the machine sitting after a long, hard day at work. The other option you have... If you don't necessarily want to display it on a low boy trailer, you can always display it with other Diecast Masters CAT equipment or next to a dump truck, as demonstrated here. So we have a Western Star dump truck by Diecast Masters. We will bring him in and we will pose the excavator discharging into him. So what are my thoughts overall as we bring the video to its conclusion? The Diecast Masters Caterpillar 336 Next Generation Excavator featuring the Modern Hex logo is a great model. This is an excellent opportunity to pick up this piece if you missed out on the first release of this model. And it really all depends. The functionality is exactly the same as the first rendition. It really all boils down to, do you like this version better? Do you like the version with the, the Power Stripe logo instead? They're both well built. They both have a lot of detail built into them. The display possibilities and functionality are good enough, although the range of digging is my only main complaint that really should be a little bit better. But other than that, they are excellent value for the money and would make a great addition to any cat collector's collection. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to us here on Diecast Emporium if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.